when you have to tighten your belt due to an increase of cost of living, gas and electric prices, or just simply some unexpected expenses coming your way, it's even more important to try and work preventative self-care into your life. But it's in these circumstances that it can be even harder to do so. The truth is, even though everyone will be affected by changes in the cost of living, no one will be affected in exactly the same way. It's like that saying, we may all be in the same storm, but we're not all in the same boat. So it's with those differences in mind that I'm making this video. The first thing I want to say is only you know your own situation. So take anything that's useful here and ignore the rest. Don't feel guilty about anything that you can't do for yourself. Sometimes taking a few breaths and trying to calm down your nervous system is the best you can do. So let's get started. But first, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Catherine. I'm the founder and principal therapist of LSM Clinic. In this channel, I share information about how the body works and simple self-care tips so that you can feel better in your body um, and live your life and do your favorite activities as close to pain-free as possible. So when we're talking about having like different budgets, I would say broadly people fall into these kind of categories. So you have the group of people where while they'll notice an increase in cost, they have enough squish or space in their income that they're not going to have to make a ton of changes in order to absorb the changes in the cost of living. Some people will be in a position where they realize they need to cut back on a few things to keep everything level, but they're not having to really, like, it's not really stressful to have to do that. They might just have to, like, cut back on going out to eat as much or, um, you know, some of that discretionary spending. Some people are already juggling so much and struggling to make ends meet, and any increase is going to make it even harder to cover those living expenses. And of course, there are people, unfortunately, who aren't really making enough to cover their living expenses at it, as it is, and this is just going to make it worse. So I just want to say, wherever you are in that spectrum, there are things that you can do, but don't feel guilty if you can't do like the perfect things. Hopefully the ideas in this video are going to give you enough tips that you can put together something for yourself that works for you. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please do like it and um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like more videos like this and tips for taking care of yourself. And definitely share it with anyone you know who you think that this might be helpful to them. So the first thing to remember about preventative maintenance for yourself is that in the long run, it's usually a lot more cost effective, especially if you work at a job where if you don't show up, you don't get paid like hourly or a contracted workers, or if you're self-employed or run your own business, where if you don't deliver the client work, again, you don't get your income. Uh, that'll be different if you're in a salaried role, but I think none of us really want to lose time or vacation days or sick days because uh, something happens to our body that would have been preventab preventable if we had put some of these practices into place beforehand. Now, I'm going to start with what I think is the ideal, which is going to be the thing that is the least cost effective. And then I'm going to work my way down to like the free and least amount of time options. If you're happy to watch through the whole video, that's great, but I have put timestamps below on YouTube so you can just jump to the section that appeals to you the most if that's what you prefer to do. So for me, the ideal is having regular preventative sessions. Um, obviously, I like massage, but if your thing is physio or osteopathy or whatever you feel like has worked well for your body. The nice thing about a preventative session is that the therapist should be able to look and see where you're carrying imbalances, what they could lead to. You might not even realize that you're not turning your head as far as you used to or that you're not able to lift your arm as high or that bending over feels tight. And so in a session, when we do these tests, we can see what is restricting you. We can release those and then you can have the accountability. Like when you have a regular monthly session, you have that accountability to be doing your self-care exercises between sessions. Now, something preventative 
doesn't have to be monthly. We have clients who come every two months, every three months, and sometimes every six months. The main difference is you're coming before you feel a big problem to help you get a sense of what's going on in your body and to make sure nothing builds up. At the clinic, we do have a membership for people who want to do monthly, and that also comes with a self-care prescription software, so it helps you stay on top of your self-care. So that's kind of like what I would consider the ideal, is having preventative massage, and I really do think it can save you a lot of uh, struggle and difficulty in the long run, but obviously I know that's not going to be an option for everyone. I do want to remind you that at our clinic, and I think that there are a lot of clinics that offer this, you can find, like, we have a low-cost clinic, so we have slots that we've held aside for people to apply for low-cost clinic slots, and so they can have a preventative massage, but at a lower price, and that is made possible by all of our clients who price, right, so that we're able to balance that out, um, the the cost, the fee that we charge for the low-cost clinic. Now, when we're starting to look down the line, the next one is to invest in lower cost things that are going to help you maintain yourself. That might be something like a yoga class, a Pilates class. There's loads of online courses and memberships that you can do where you can do it from the comfort of your own home, assuming you have internet access, which I'm going to assume you do because you're watching this video. At the clinic, we also have a neck and shoulder pain course for desk workers, which Although it's not like a 10 pound course, it's very, very comprehensive and you pay for it once and you get it for the lifetime of the course, which is already like six years old, although it was recently updated. Um, And that investing in something like that, where it teaches you all of the stretches and all of the exercises that you need to be able to take care of your body, your neck and shoulders and back while you're sitting at a desk or while you're working That can be really helpful because you then have that resource to go back to as often as you want. So you don't have to worry about trying to remember all of the information that you got in a session. You can always rewatch the videos and reassess what you're doing. So that's the medium budget. Getting something like a course that teaches you how to take care of yourself or going to low cost uh, yoga, Pilates classes. You know, a lot of yogas and Pilates classes are like 10 to 20 pounds each or you can stream things on live. Now, let's talk about low and no budget things. So for example, we have pay what you want visualizations on our website. Visualizations, especially like meditations that walk you through breathing and relaxation are a great way to calm down your nervous system when you're stressed. One of our visualizations, which is the breathing visualization is really great because it helps you connect into your diaphragm, start teaching yourself to breathe a little bit more into your abdomen and into your diaphragm, which should take pressure off of your neck and shoulders. And also diaphragmatic breathing can help to simulate the nervous, uh, the vagus nerve, which helps with your relaxation response. And, you know, so that's something that you can get for like just a couple of pounds and you can listen to it over and over and over again. Same thing with our body scan visualization. It helps you scan through the body and find what's tight. Even just regularly checking in with yourself is a great way to do preventative self-care because often we just go about our day and we don't even notice what's going on with us. So something like, you know, before you go to bed, taking five minutes to do a body scan is really good. Now at the clinic, we have a lot of like free resources that we've put together to help make the information accessible in complement to the sessions that we offer at the clinic. So we have a free desk worker workshop. So this is if you work out a computer at all or you have any neck or shoulder pain. It explains a really simple stretch that you can do in 30 seconds and it tells you how you can start sitting in better posture. It's completely free and it's in our desk worker resource center. Our desk worker resource center in and of itself is really good. There's also a free printable to help your posture and a little mini training on how to prove your posture. There are loads of videos about how you can set up your workstation without needing to buy any expensive equipment, Um, just things to help you understand more about your body as it relates to sitting and working at a desk. And then on the other side, if you exercise or train, if you cycle or run, 
we have the Runners Resource Center. And even though it's targeted for runners, there's a lot of things that will also apply to cyclists and in general health stuff. Like we have a three-part stretching series, which is on our YouTube channel. We have a foam rolling workshop. So it teaches you how to foam roll painlessly um, to also help like your knees and your legs while you're at home and you don't need to have a foam roller to do it. Although foam rollers are in general, not that expensive. Um, or you can usually find one uh, in like marketplace or things like that. You can find these on our website and I'll link them below. A lot of these are things that just need your time. So you can watch the video and then practice it, or you can download the um, workshops and play along with the workshops because they're pre-recorded. We also do have like a series of educational emails for desk workers, runners, and about general self-care that each week take you through teaching you about your body. Um, you can sign up for those on our website. With free self-care, often the thing that makes it hard is time because you need to find the time to do it. And a lot of the videos that we have give you suggestions about how you can fit it into your day. And I just want to leave you with talking about prevention, right? We've gone from investing in a regular monthly session for yourself all the way down to watching some of our YouTube videos. It's always important to know the source when you're watching or consuming free resources because, you know, different people will have different opinions on things. Obviously, I think the things that I share are accurate because they're tested in clinic and they're things that we see work over and over and over again with our clients. And sometimes the things that I see on YouTube don't really make sense to me. So I really recommend that anything that you consume that's like a preventative self-care that you're mindful of the source because unfortunately some things like for example if you're foam rolling and it's really painful it can actually make your muscles tighter which is going to make things worse right so always vet the free resources that you use to make sure that you trust the source so that you can trust the information but yes so what i want to leave you with finally is you'll be surprised how far little things can go you know, for example, we have a five minute movement series on our website and it is actually really good for releasing the neck and the shoulders and making you feel looser and making you feel more energized. But it would be easy to think, well, what can five minutes do? Even if you don't have 20 or 30 minutes to devote to trying to stretch or doing exercises every day, simple things like a chest stretch or taking deep breaths are going to go a long way in helping to manage the level of muscle tension that you're carrying and hopefully prevent more serious things from happening. I hope that you found this self-care prevention at any budget video helpful. If you have any questions or you'd like me to point you to any specific resources for specific problems, please feel free to leave a comment below or you can get in touch with us via our website. And of course, if you'd like to have like an MOT with us so that we can just kind of check and send you the report that goes with it for your own self-care, we would love to see you in clinic uh, and you can book online or by calling our 028 number. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please do like it, share it with anyone who you think could use it um, and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Okay, bye.